Demonetized. Welcome to FAQ number 69. This is a gift I got from my brother. I have the best brother. He bought me this imperial bathrobe. And it's extremely static. Look at my hair. <laughs> yeah, I just want to show you that. Hope you had a good Christmas. Hope you got good and awesome presents from your loved ones. Uh. So what's up everyone? Nice to see you guys again. Boy, wow, what an amazing week it has been. Uh, not really, but it's been a Christmas week. And uh, today I'm working actually, so it's, uh, you know, it's, I, I've been looking forward to get back to filming because I was in Indonesia, then I got back home and uh, I just haven't filmed in a while, so I haven't even played guitar in a while. So I've been playing guitar, making some movies today, it's been awesome and I'm uh, about to wrap this day up by recording an FAQ. Amazing. Looking forward to it. So uh, it's uh, sand Saturday. It's Sunday the 30th and uh, this is actually a very special day for me. Sunday the 30th of December is my daughter's birthday. Happy birthday little Marlin. I love you. She's turning four years. If you've been following me you might know that when my daughter was born Long story short, I almost lost both my wife and my daughter at the same time, today, four years ago. And this day, four years ago, was a very life-changing day for me. It changed me in a way that I'm very happy about today, because even though I had kind of like a fuck it approach before, after that, and after that, uh, that day and those couple of hours where I didn't know if I you know, if I lost my wife or not, and I was sitting holding my baby, you know, I had to sit and watch doctors uh, resuscitate my, my baby in front of my eyes, and I was just, you know, I was just crying all over the place, and I did not know what was happening for, you know, 15 or 30 minutes. Uh, at that moment, obviously everything turned out well at the end, thank God, or thank Satan, or whatever you believe in. You know, after that, I just care less, you know, about things. I just stopped giving a shit about what people thought about me, what I was doing, and you know, uh, my guitar playing, my whatever, you know, and it's... Uh, and truth be told, this whole event, with all this happening, has made me a better person, and uh, at least I think so, I don't know, maybe you can tell me in the comments, am I a better person uh, than I was four years ago? I don't know. You know, I just don't give a shit anymore, and I think that has led me to open up a lot more, and uh, open up more on camera, which has also been some sort of a, you know, some sort of therapy for me, you know, talking like this to you guys. You know, I just don't give a shit anymore, except for the things that actually matter in life, like my family, that's you guys, by the way, my second family, <laughs> which is my wife and my kids, and, you know, just me doing stuff that I enjoy. And uh, that is, fuck you, I'm trying to make a speech here and, oh, hi. Fuck you. No, very positive Ola. No, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, to make a point here that this day was very, very special for me. Oh, Ola, talking way too much. Seven minutes? I have to cut that down so it's uh, like two minutes. Sorry. Maybe I should start with the questions because this is an FAQ after all. Hi Ola, why your T sounds like F whenever you speak a word? From Romel Sniper. Okay, my T's does not sound like F. The problem for Swedes is when it's a th in English, uh, for instance, like three, like the number three. Uh, I have an immense problem to say that word. You know why? Because when I was a kid, that lisp that you do, where you put the tongue uh, against your teeth or outside your teeth, it's something that you're not supposed to do in Swedish. And uh, I had a problem with that, so I had to go to, uh, you know, an, uh, uh, what do you call it? You call it logoped in, in Swedish. So I had to constantly work to not lisp when I say uh, S or T or stuff like that. So, and then out of a sudden English comes out and you have to lisp on certain things like Thordendal or three or whatever. And it's like, ah, uh, okay, so everything I've been taught when I was young, like, fuck off if I want to try to speak English. So there you go, that's why my three sounds like three. And uh, that's, that's what it is. It's just something that I have a hard time doing. And a lot of Swedes have this problem, so it's not just me. Chunky! <gasps> oh, next FEQ is number 69! <gasps> 
Yes, this is FAQ number 6 to 9, and everyone is just thinking like, oh, it's gonna be a dirty ass FAQ, Ola's gonna, you know, show his penis or, you know, show his balls or ass or something like that, or, or crotch cam, and like, it's gonna be dirty, because FAQ, you know, you stick dicks in your mouth and, you know, pusses in your ass and whatever you, whatever you kids do these days, but no, it's my daughter's birthday, pay some respect, okay? Hi Ola, I have a question for your next FAQ, how are you, how's your life doing? Uh, I feel like a lot of people don't ask about you. Hope everything's well. Happy holidays. Keep up the awesome work. Has a. Oh, thank you so much. However, there was a question exactly like this two or three, three FAQs ago. Okay, so uh, I'm fine, by the way. Don't worry about me. Chunky. Oh, again, a double question. Ola, I really want to see you in Australia, Brisbane specifically, but your shows are 18 plus. Are you planning? Oh, sad face. Oh, are you planning on doing any clinics down here or all ages shows, etc.? Um, to be honest, I had no idea this was a thing. This is probably something that the venues decide and not that we decide. I think it sucks, but um, I know, like in Sweden, if there's a plus 18 show or, you know, adult show or something like that, it's okay to go to the show. If you're with an adult that you know can uh, you know take care of you, so I don't know if that's a thing in Australia. I would love to do some clinics down there. I'm just not sure about my schedule down there. So we'll just have to see. See you down there, buddy. Maybe, uh, maybe not. We'll see. Sorry, <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm just blaming the venues. Kevin Bursler, hola amigo. I recently pre-ordered the guitarist bundle for your solo album in 2019. Thank you for your work and that offer. A question I have for you is upside down question mark. Do you have any practical advice for Americans who move to Sweden? When you move there, just remember that we are a socialist country and we are totally f***ed up, there's no future here, and you know, it's not, it's not a working society. It is a working society. I welcome you here, please come here, move to Sweden, just be a little open-minded about uh, that we might be a, a tad bit more sarcastic or ironic than you guys. Reggie! Merry Christmas to you and your family. Oh, thank you so much. On one of your videos, I saw you were listening to Silver Chair. What album do you like the most? Salamat Ola. Okay, so uh, yeah, I, I've listened a fair bit to Silver Chair back in the day. And uh, I think my favorite album is actually Jung Modern, which is their like last album. And uh, it's so, so much different from the other album. So yeah, go check it out. It's a great album. Ugh, Silver Chair. Ugh. Arizona Heat, which would be the best time by guitar brand to get, a Dean or a Washburn? I know a lot of people are like, well, he was always with Dean, you know, and Dean uh, went under and, you know, he went with Washburn, then he went back to Dean, you know. But Dimebag was playing Washburn and he was super happy about Washburn. So he played both and he went back to Dean and then he passed away. Well, there you go. I think the guitars, the Watchman guitars that I have are excellent guitars. I love them to death, my Dimebag 3ST right over there. And I have my Dean, Dean from Hell that I bought, it's over there. They're, I wouldn't say equally good, but they're good in different ways. They have mojo, both of them. And uh, so just get whatever you want. I, I, I just think that Dean sometimes have just done a little too many weird finishes and uh, a little tacky finishes for, for Dimebag's guitars uh, during the past years, which um, I haven't agreed with, you know, I thought they were a little tacky, but then again, they're still a cool brand and uh, they, the US custom shops uh, make uh, sick guitars, so there's that. So I didn't help out at all, thank you. The other Genesis, hi Ola, will, you... will your coming solo album be instrumental? Yes, it will be instrumental. Yeah, so basically the solo album is, uh, it's, a, it's a solo album, it's not filled of uh, wankery, it's basically just, you know, chill music uh, that I think you guys will enjoy. But I, then again, I have no idea. But I think, I think you will, you will enjoy it. You can pre-order it here and it will be out soon, uh, I'm almost done. Metalhead Hippie, I'm third, or as Ola would say, third. I, no, I told you. I can say third, okay, it's third that's a problem, if it will be a third, okay? O A B, broski bra, bro la bro mu. My dude, is it me or have you never put out the song 53, 53, look at that. I bought the 5153 in 2010 after hearing you play 53 on that amp. 
I need a song, man, like real bad. It's like nostalgia, nostalgia and drugs combined. Oh shit, 2010, it's soon to be my 10 year anniversary as a subscriber. You were actually the first channel I ever subscribed to. Keep it up, my Scandinavian neighbor. Oh, that's awesome, amazing. I think that uh, if you wonder why he's referring to a number that is 53, is because back in the day, I basically just named all my ideas and song ideas into numbers, like, you know, so. 53 was basically like the 53rd uh, feared song I wrote and I think I actually made it into a song Let me see. It's not Fuhrer, I think Yeah, I think it's in here. It's called something. What is it? Impending Doom? No Warbound. It's called Warbound now. So you just go check it out, okay? Okay, great It's called Warbound. It's on Fuhrer Incarnatus. Okay, great Urination Nation, I did not find you through your music and it took me a while to realize that you were in bands. Now I am a little scared because I like you, but I haven't heard either of your bands. Can you recommend a song from each of your projects that I should check out? Also, you str your struggle to stay positive, it's very relatable. Ah, people and their understanding. I love you guys. Okay, so I'm in two bands right now, Feared and The Haunted, that are kind of like half active. And uh, I don't know, if you want to hear a song with Fear, maybe you should check out uh, Your Black Is My Wife. <laughs> my wife? <laughs> Your Black Is My Wife. Your Black Is My White is from the latest uh, Fear album of Svart. And with The Haunted, maybe you should check out Spark from the latest uh, The Haunted album. Strength in Numbers, there you go. Cyril Stoneman, Ola, how do you feel about YouTube covers where the guitarist has an expensive guitar but plays a simple version of the song they are covering, like single notes during a chords or dyads when full chords are to be played. Thousand dollar plus guitars with five bucks of talent. Uh, <laughs> I mean, who gives a shit really? You're basically talking about me right now. <laughs> this is me. Like a thousand dollar plus guitars with five bucks of talent. You're talking about me. Are you trying to start a fight or something? It's like... Uh... I mean, people are allowed to do whatever they want, and kudos to them. That's a part of them, you know, evolving as a guitar player or a YouTuber or whatever. Just loosen up a little bit, let people do their thing, and you'll be a lot happier. I promise. New Year's resolution, maybe, for you. Andrew Hill. Oh, subscriber. Oh, oh my dick. Scratch dick. Scratch. Scratch that dick. Andrew Hill, hey Ola, love the vids, please tell me what are your goals for 2019 and how are you gonna make sure you achieve them? Uh, ta ta muchly. Okay. Um, like I said before, I don't really have that many goals. I think what I'm doing now is basically just trying to make this YouTube channel as big as I can, just keep on going, keep on doing the same thing because I love doing this. I obviously have my solo album coming in 2019 and then uh, I'm gonna try and start working for uh, a new The Haunted album and then I, I'm always, I always have my fingers into something new and you know exciting so and uh, I'm not that much of discussing uh, you know future plans in that sense I'd rather... minus one No, I'd just rather you know I rather announce when it's ready, you know. And uh, obviously, solar guitars. I have a lot of things planned. It's going to be amazing. Thank you. Disconnected exit sign. Uh, what? <laughs> Disconnected exit sign. Oh, okay. People and their YouTube names. I wonder. Hey, Ola. You really need to check out Power Trip on the next FAQ. Executioner's Tax is the name of the song, and you won't be disappointed. Okay, I'm going to do this. I think someone has mentioned Power Trip for me before, so I will check it out. Yeah, it's good. Okay, some vocals, please. Yeah, I guess it's cool. Sounds like old school. I'll check it out. Thanks for the tip, buddy. Hi, Ola. Have you rather that I buy a solar from your website or from Tolman? Obviously, when you buy from the website, I'm earning more money because uh, Tolman uh, obviously needs a cut as well. So there you go. If you want to uh, support me more, you can buy from our website, but obviously, I mean, Toman is great as well, and uh, I mean, I like that they have the guitars available, 
and uh, you can actually go test them at their shop and all. So uh, that's what's important with them. I mean, there's some value in them having the guitars as well. And I like Tolman, so there you go. Captainia, can riff of the day be bass riff of the day? Absolutely not. Laurent Serger, hola, what is your best riff ever wrote? Okay, um, you know, it's hard for me to pick best riff I've ever written, but uh, I think one of the like first real like blockbuster riff that I made was the riff uh, for Lord's Resistance Army, which goes like, you know... <laughs> Hey, Monica. Men, men, ska jag säga något, pappa? Att ja. Vi gick ut i pausen. Har du blött näsbord, Nej. Vet ni, jag håller på att spela in film här. Så att... Ja, det kan jag göra. Jag stänger dörren här, okej? Okay? Technical difficulties, let's just continue. Uh, right. Brotherhood of Steel. Is Sweden the most boring country in the world? If you with boring mean most socialist country in the world, then yes. Astral666, hey Ola, Nam is just around the corner. Any sneak peek preview of the Solar lineup for 2019? Okay, okay, okay. I'm not supposed to show this. This came, I took this with me from Indonesia and fuck me in the face, this is an amazing guitar right here. And I'm just super proud and I cannot wait to show you this guitar. Uh, obviously it's black, but you're not seeing the whole picture right there. But that's a good enough teaser for you right there. That makes me so happy. This guitar, oh, it's one of those old England moments. My little pony, my little pony. Huh? You liked that, didn't you? Uh, hello Ola, just wonder about all those solar you have in the background and the ones you use. Do you pay for them? Or do you pick them for free? If you're talking about these, you know, technically... I pay for every Solar guitar, even the ones that uh, you're buying, I'm paying for, because I have to pay them, <laughs> to make them. So, uh, obviously I did not pay full price to get these. These are, uh, I would say, promotional items. I mean, I use them in the videos, so I showcase them, and uh, I did not go to the website and order them, you know. I mean, I guess that's one of the perks of being the president of Solar Guitars. I get to actually play my own guitars uh, without having to buy them all. So there you go, that's a good question. Okay, Swedish word, I, I had a long video where I was basically just swearing because I was fucking up a, a, a video of mine. And uh, there were some people that were asking uh, what uh, kuksugare means. And uh, so that's the Swedish word today, right there, kuksugare. It's cocksucker. I mean, it's almost basically the same word. So there you go, a quick little Swedish word of the day for you. And riff of the day, uh, it'll be that riff that I, uh, th that I showed you there. Maybe I already did it. Well, let's just do it again, because I'm just trying to wrap shit up here so I can spend more time with my family. So it goes like this. So you need a drop tune guitar, and then it's... Good burp there, Ola. That was strong. It was a strong burp. I like that. So there you go. You got the Swedish word today, the Swedish riff today. It was actually a Swedish riff today. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was the last question. And guys, I just want to wrap this year up a little bit uh, because it has been a really amazing year for me. Uh, I, I mean, since January, February this year, I've been growing my channel maybe 150,000 subscribers, with, which is like I've never grown this quick. So I know there's a lot of new people out there. I know you old guys are still there. I know I lost a lot of subscribers, but I've also gained so many new subscribers. Uh, you know, with all with everything I've been doing. You know, I've been upping the content. I've been doing like three videos a week, not three, three videos a week or four even. And uh, you know, I've just been upping my my content, and I just have to say thank you so much. I mean, it's it's not just me. It's also about you guys. I read almost all the comments, and uh, you know. I would say 99% of them are super positive and awesome and funny as well. I, you know, it seems that I have 
uh, a really smart following and I really, really appreciate that. That's, it's awesome. So I just want to say Happy New Year. You know, go spend some time with the, the people that you love and if you don't have any people that you love or you don't have a spouse or whatever to spend your time with, remember, we're family, you and I. So don't you forget that, okay? Okay, you can always comment on my video. I'll see you, okay? Great, awesome. Guys, happy new year, see you next year. It's gonna be an awesome year, I know it. It's gonna be my year next year and yours, okay? Good. Plus one.